Regenerative Community Living, One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 301. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 301, December 30th, 2018, New Year's edition. So I'm wearing my I Love You shirt. Uh, One Community's mission, if you're not familiar with it, is to bring together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to create self replicating teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs as a pathway. To global sustainability. And today what I want to talk about is regenerative community living. And everything you see happening in the background of the video here is about regenerative community living because one community's communities are meant to be regenerative. And what I mean by that is it's meant to really address the foundations of the human soul. And you can visit our website and read about the different foundations of happiness that we've explored and researched and our Fulfilled Living page, our Social Architecture page, it talks about that. But it's also about regenerating our planet and the surrounding communities and our global community as well through permaculture, through sustainable food, energy, housing, but also the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as fulfilled living practices, as highest good education models, highest good economic models, and truer stewardship. Putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability that is the foundation for regenerative community living. And so we are open sourcing and free sharing all the tools, tutorials, the resources, and the do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call high good living. And, and so they can be replicated as either individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration model that shares regenerative community living and sharing what it is that we're doing. We are open sourcing and free sharing everything that we're doing so that we can teach people exactly how to get the materials, exactly how much time it will take, how much money it will take to replicate everything that we're doing, as well as aspects as we start living in one community and open sourcing and sharing things like the fulfilled living practices, the high good education models. I mean, these are things that don't actually cost any money. And so we want to open source and free share those also as foundations for highest good approaches to those aspects of life as well. And so the regenerative community living model that we want to demonstrate is one that shares itself, that invites people to participate. And not everybody has to do it that way. You know, we're open sourcing and free sharing it so that people with different ideas, different values, different goals can still use what it is that we're creating. But one community's goal is regenerative community living that invites the world to participate. And we will grow to the point where we are ultimately hosting hundreds of thousands of people annually to experience what it is that we're creating. And the whole model is designed so that the more you share it and the more fun that we're having doing it, the more positive the experience of living this way is. And the more we share this experience, the more abundance we'll experience as an organization, the faster we'll be able to grow. The more we invite people to cooperate and collaborate with us, the more successful we'll be. The more we invite people to come and visit one community, stay in an earth bag home, stay in the city center, to stay in a Cobb village or in a straw bale village. The more people that come and visit, because what we're creating is something amazing that people want to experience, the faster the model will spread, the more we will generate revenue so that we can expand and help others to expand as well. And so this is one community's idea of regenerative community living. Regenerate the individual first. Create an environment that meets all of the needs of a person better than the way that most people are living right now. Create an environment that provides more of the things that people want to do. Supportive community environment, better quality food, better, a cleaner air and water, a natural environment that supports the soul and share that environment with others so that we can create a global cooperative and a global collaborative of people working together to create more regenerative community living models, different regenerative community living models, so we can expand the ideas of permaculture, so we can expand the ideas of fulfilled living, so that we can expand the ideas of sustainable housing and share those and invite others to participate so that more and more people get involved. Because if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, 
and demonstrate this idea is attractive enough, then it will spread on its own. It will become self-replicating. And a self-replicating model, just like anything else that's gone viral, only this is big. This changes the way that people live. This makes sustainability mainstream. This invites everybody to participate in the way that they want to and makes it so that every little step is a step in the right direction because it's built on foundations of highest good, living and creating for the highest good to the best of our ability for all life on this planet. It doesn't mean we've got it figured it out. We don't. We don't have it figured out. We're but. We're committed to doing the best that we can, to constantly focusing on what we think is for the highest good. And when we make decisions and when we're managing the project and we're designing the project, developing it, we're thinking about more and more ways for how we can do that. And in so doing, we are building the foundation for global sustainability and we're inviting everybody to participate. We're an all volunteer team. We're a nonprofit organization. I'm not paid for anything that it is that I'm doing for one community, neither is anybody else on the team. We're doing this because we want to live this way. We're doing this because we know that a sustainable world is possible. The technology already exists. There's certainly enough money. You know, we fund war to the tunes, a tune of trillions of dollars. We could invest a fraction of that in sustainable infrastructure and completely revolutionize the way people live on this planet. And so we see this as a grassroots movement built by the people for the people and we're open sourcing and free sharing it so that average people with average means and average financial support can replicate what it is that we're doing for the benefit of everyone and everything on this planet. So with that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of regenerable, re regenerative community living for the highest good of all life on this planet. Happy New Year. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team continued design updates to the open source Murphy Bed Furniture Assembly Instructions. We finished building the updated Murphy Bed Wall, fixed parts needing adjustment, listed all the new dimensions, and labeled all the parts. You can see some of this work in progress here. The core team also continued development of the new page sharing our research into the most sustainable toilet options. This week we finished the regular water saving toilet sections and started on the composting toilet sections. Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, also completed her 29th week volunteering and now helping with the Earth Bag Village materials and costs. This week, she continued to update the spreadsheet quantities, materials, and resource links, and made a new AutoCAD drawing of one dome to better calculate the earth bag and cement quantities. Guy Grossfeld, graphic designer, continued his work helping with render corrections and Photoshop additions for the earth bag village, completing this final second generation view of the complete village looking west. Dan Alec, designer and illustrator, completed his 33rd week helping with Earth Bag Village render additions with a focus on the pond and human elements in this image. Dean Scholes, architectural designer, continued working on the Earth Bag Village. Here's weekly update 143 from Dean. This week's focus, as shown in these images, was 3D model updates to create a correct entryway. And Elizabeth Kahn, environmental consultant, completed her fourth week researching and writing the content for the most sustainable toilet options. This week, she returned to researching composting toilets, created a new resources section, and researched online purchasing options for all the other toilets she identified as the best. You can see some of this work in progress here. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team finished developing the Duplical City Center materials and cost page. This included finalizing all the text and adding new icons for each section of the building, adding new images, and writing the summary, resources, and FAQ sections. You can see some of this work here. The core team also began research into lake and water retention landscape creation as an alternative source of water for the Duplical City Center sprinkler and emergency systems designs, agriculture, gray water processing, and more. You can see some of our initial research notes here. 
and Vita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, also continued updating the Duplical City Center costs with additional details for the sprinkler and emergency systems and City Center HVAC designs. She added fittings quantities, research prices, and added source URLs for the sprinkler system and started calculating the ducting and copper pipe needed for each line of the HVAC units. David Olivero, mechanical engineer and data scientist, continued helping finish the city center HVAC designs too. This week he finished color coding and separating the layers for the complete designs, verified the final equipment details, and began outlining the tutorial, some of which you can see here. And James Harrigal, student researcher, also completed his fourth week researching the best, safest, and most sustainable paints, carpet, and other building materials by finishing research on the well standard system, sorting the lead and well components into a table of contents formula to make the research more readable, and beginning research into responsible paints. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued adding more content to the open source apiary page. We added additional graphics to all previously finished sections and completed a new selecting your apiary location section. You can see some of this work here. The core team also continued writing the behind-the-scenes narrative and the detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week we reviewed and addressed comments on the recent food forest edits and added further details to the rollout for the food forest test plot, fuel tank research, and portable steel chicken coops for 6 to 8 chickens. You can see some of this behind-the-scenes work here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years invested in designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. 12 detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete. Summaries and integration of all the best known alternative education programs, including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team finished the process of fixing our database structure and testing our corrections. This has eliminated database connectivity errors and dramatically improved site performance. Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, also continued with his 11th week as part of the marketing team. This week, he researched keywords for five or more of our top-level food and housing-related pages, aquaculture, wildlife stewardship, aquapini wallapinis, tropical atrium, and Earthbag village. And Jin Hua, web and graphic designer, helped create two or more keyword tutorials, reviewed Emilio's work, and reactivated all our AdWord campaigns now that our database is functioning again. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of regenerative community living for the highest good of all people and all life on this planet. If you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. If you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we will add you to our newsletter list. Uh, or you can visit our helping page and you can subscribe to one of our social media networks and uh, monitor our progress that way. Of course, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring that bell, and you'll get uh, an email every time one of these updates comes out that way. Of course, you can visit us on any of our social media networks and it's the easiest way to support us also. Share information on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. We are on Facebook, Tumblr, Reddit, uh, Pinterest, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Instagram, and about 15 other social media networks to make it as easy as possible to follow our progress. 
And last but not least, certainly last but not least, thank you. Thanks for your support. As we go into 2019, uh, we just want to say and express our love and our gratitude for everybody that's following our progress, following our project. If you're somebody that's donated to us, thank you. 100% of donations go to forwarding our mission because none of us are paid for what it is that we're doing. So that helps pay for our website infrastructure and mo mostly things revolving around that, but other expenses associated with what it is that we're creating. If you've sent us an email, if you've made a comment on our videos, all, every single one gets read. All those uh, are responded to. We appreciate it. It's a great way to support as well. It helps make the project better. Um, if you have liked one of our videos or liked this video or shared one of our pages, thanks. That makes a big difference as well. And just for watching to the end, thanks. If you're just somebody that sends us love and good vibes, uh, we think that makes a difference too. So every little bit helps. And so as we close 2018 and we move into 2019, which for one community is going to be an amazing year, uh, we say from the bottom of our hearts, from the whole team, from our team to you. Thanks. Have a great rest of your year. Here's to an amazing 2019. And until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.